I'm Keith Cochran at Germantown Baptist Church, and you're watching Ken Freeman on the commode. I'm mean, on the road. Okay, you're here with me at Germantown Baptist Church. I'm standing behind a pillar. It's one of the biggest pillars. This is one of the biggest stinking foyers I've ever been in in my life. You guys can't see me, but you can hear me. Hey, this, it's been an incredible week at Germantown uh, Baptist Church. We've seen well over 80 people saved. They baptized seven or so tonight. The crowds have been great. Um, an incredible foyer. I mean, this is just unreal. Um, the, the things that they have at this church, the facilities are great. They've gone through some things, but God is, is bringing them back. We have just seen great, great crowds. Sunday morning, we saw over 60 people saved. 30 of them were adults. Um, I was able to minister with the staff, spoke at a Christian school. Um, I was able to work out this week. Um, <laughs> And people are looking at me, thinking, "What's going on?" Um, I've lost, uh, I've lost 14 pounds. Nutrisystem works, and uh, you ought to try it if you need to lose weight. Uh, I'm, I'm doing really, really well with it. And um, you know, Texas got beat. My Cowboys are struggling. My Spurs are 0 and 3, but Jesus is still Lord. And uh, I hope that you guys will be praying for us on the road. We've only got a few more dates before I kind of take off in December. There's a great chance that I'm going to be taking off three weeks in December. I'm praying through that, and um, there's some people going to help. But pray for us tonight. God is just moving in, in an incredible way. Uh, we're heading to Virginia uh, for a weekend thing, and then from there we go to Montgomery, Alabama uh, for a heart, heart conference and Revolution of the Heart. and. It's just, it's been awesome. I don't know what else to say. Um, I know we got a new president. I'll go ahead and address it. Uh, didn't vote for him, but I am going to pray for him and uh, pray that God will surround him with people that love Jesus and that something will happen. Uh, but pray for our country. Um, just pray for uh, uh, our outgoing president as well. Just pray for the days ahead. And I want to challenge you just to stay in the Word, stay on your face, lift up Jesus, share your faith. Um, it's been an incredible week in this church. I mean, this, it's just massive. And uh, you could get, in fact, I got, I mean, the staircase. I mean, if I was going to have a wedding, uh, I would look very beautiful in a wedding dress coming down these stairs. I feel like uh, I'm going to be crowned something Lord of all, no. But anyway, dude, this is, it's, it's just un, unreal uh, what this building, what it has and holds. God is at work. And uh, people, are, people are rushing to get to the service tonight. And uh, they've served all kinds of food. Um, it's, it's been unreal. So um, if you would, pray for us. And... Uh, um, Pray for, again, pray for our new president. Pray for our country. Pray for your church. Uh, just stay before the Lord. Uh, I'm on the road, um, always on the road. I'm doing really well, getting some good rest. And so I'm out of here. I hope that you'll be praying for me. And uh, I will, hey, by the way, if you haven't seen the movie Fireproof, you need to go. Just kind of popped into my head. Every couple ought to see that movie. It doesn't matter if you're struggling or not. You ought to take some couples that are struggling, an incredible movie, one of the best I've seen. You ought to go see it, take somebody there. Uh, let me tell you this, you're not fireproof without Jesus Christ. And so make sure that he's the Lord of your life, make sure he's, he's in control. Uh, I'm gonna play like Adam and Eve. <laughs> I'm gonna hide behind the bush. I'll see.